Till now, we have been trying to learn more about pattern matching and let us continue with the same thing in this video as well. Now, let us go back to our terminal and let me go inside IEX. So I can do that by simply typing IEX. Now again, please let me remind you that my prompt is looking different and that is because I have customized the settings. I just wanted to have the prompt to be same as my logo. That's why I simply changed it, but that's about it. Now let me clear up the terminal and here let us try to learn a little bit more about pattern matching. So again, let us create the same list A and A and for the right hand side, let us say that we want to match with one and two. And as you know, we are going to get a match error and this is what we are getting. So again, let me try and refresh our memory what's happening. So what's happening is the value or the variable of A is bound to the value of one. And on the next time, what's happening is here we have A, but we are trying to match the value of two with A. And as you know, A is bound to one. That's why we are getting match error. Now let's take a couple of minutes and let us try to understand why this is happening. This is happening because all of the data types inside Elixir are immutable. That means we can't randomly assign new values to an existing variable inside Elixir. Now you must be thinking that why does all of the types inside Elixir has to be immutable? The short answer is because for scalability and we will come to this point in the next video. But for now, let us try to understand what's happening behind the scenes. Now let me try to clear up the screen one more time. And this time let us say that we want our A and we want on the right to be one. So this time what's happening is we have a match operator right over here and the value of one is bound to the variable of A. But here comes a small caveat. So if I say A is equal to two, so this time we don't have an error. But I just said that our data types are immutable inside Elixir. So what's happening? So whenever we have a variable on the left hand side of our match operator, at that time Elixir thinks that we want to bound the new value to the variable on the left. That's why we have the new value instead of A, which is two. But if you don't want this behavior, then we can use a pin operator. So we can say the pin operator and A is equal to three. So this time, as you can see, we get a match error and the match error is saying that no match of right hand side value of three. And this is because instead of A, we have the value of two and on the left hand side, we are trying to match a value of three. That's why we get the match error. Now, if we try to do this thing the other way around and if we say that three is equal to A, so again, this time we get an error saying that no match and the right hand side value is two. So yes, as you can see right over here, the value which is bound to A is two and that's why three is not equal to two and we get a match error. And on line number four, we could rebound the new value of two to our variable of A just because this variable is on the left hand side of the match operator. For now, you don't have to worry too much about these things. As we progress and as we solve a couple of more examples, all of these things will get cleared very easily. Now coming to the next point, why do we need immutability inside Elixir? And my short answer was scalability. So let me try to explain why immutability helps in scalability. Since our data is not immutable, that means the data can be easily copied across various processes. And we don't have to worry if another resource, another thread or another process is changing or trying to mutate our data. This thing will get clear when we understand how code is executed inside Elixir and when we understand the actor model. And that's what we are going to do right in the next video.